Hello and welcome to the show. I am here today playing some of the original Flat Out. Now, I only have kind of vague memories of the first couple of Flat Out games. I do I do remember playing them, but I can't remember a huge amount about them. Played a lot more of Ultimate Carnage, and seeing as these are all actually now on, on Steam, I decided to uh, go and pick up the early ones and, yeah, have, have a bit of a playthrough. We're going to uh, jump into single player. I just do a couple of quick races just to make sure I've got everything set up and everything working. We're going to jump into the career mode with, uh, I say with the choice of our first car, there is no choice. Okay, when you play flat out, you have to start with the pepper. That is the rules. In, <laughs> in this game, you must start with the pepper. If you are going to ignore the proper way the game is to be played, you do have some other options. Uh, out here. I don't know how many cars there are in the in the first game. Yeah, there are various options out here, but there is only really one one vehicle that you should be going for. Um, I mean, it's kind of close to being properly it's a sort of black and, and uh, much reddier orange than I would normally have, but it will do. We will go for a manual, uh, of course, a tuning. Shall we have a look? Oh, I forgot we could. Yeah, you can buy all the various bits and pieces for the car. Now we, what are the options? Are these just, okay, so it's literally just uh, an upgrade. Oops, uh, oh no, no, um, I don't want to do that. How do I go back? Um, ah, right. <laughs> I should put out, I'll bring this up to work on a 360 controller, although the way the menus work is a really, really weird. I, I guess it's tied to how the default controls would be. So, for example, to scroll up and down through the menus, I have to use the triggers uh, to go up and down. At the moment, B is to select something, and A is to go back, which very, very much messes with your mind. Uh, we could get... Oh, we could get up to 700... Uh, not 700. We get up to 125 horsepower for $700, the rest of our money. Uh, I think we're not gonna we're not going to go for anything just yet. Uh, oh, shall we go... Oh, I love these. These are excellent. These are definitely the, the most fun you can have in... <laughs> oh, Crash Alley was in the first one. Right. The the bonus races and the bonus events are far more entertaining. I say far more entertaining. The standard races are good. We haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, shall we go for... We'll go for a... I can't remember how they work. We'll start off with the Demo Derby. You can't really go wrong with a... I so you can't really go wrong with a good Demo Derby. I have remembered the car that I'm driving in. This is when going for the Pepper is is always is always entertaining. It was It's good for the races. It's actually quite good fun for the... Uh, for the races. But... Uh, ooh, okay. There we go. Calm it down. A little bit twitchy on the start. Now I'm going to run away initially. There's a very good reason for that. And that is because my car is very little and very weak and we've eaten some tyres. That's not the reason to run away. You don't want to go have a snack. <gasps> Upside down car! Woohoo! <laughs> yes, you did see that correctly. We did just catapult the driver out of the upside down car. That was too good of an opportunity to miss that one. Yeah, I kind of normally let the AIs cause some mischief for themselves, damage themselves early on, and then I will come in for the oh god, the killing blows, hopefully, to towards towards the end and just try and keep my car alive. For that little bit longer. I think there's a contact timer. I would assume there would be, so I can't kind of just run away indefinitely. However, pick and choose your moments. The way the damage works in this game, if it's you, if you're the one dishing out the punishment, your car won't take damage. So you saw with that high-speed smack into the upside-down vehicle, I took no damage. In fact, into the side of that car that was already out of the game, I took no damage as well. Uh, but if I'm stationary and get hit, that hurts me a lot. If, uh, if it's a head-on collision, we both share the damage, although sometimes it can be a little bit... Um, a little bit funny with that, kind of depending on who hits who the hardest will determine who takes the most damage. You can sometimes get away if you're going very quickly and the other car is not with, uh, with minimal damage. Now, ideally, we want to be finishing... Ooh, not doing that. Uh, ideally, we want to be finishing within three minutes. Should should be doable, especially with about three cars out already. Uh, yeah, if we can finish within three minutes, I'll give us $800, which is always, always nice. Now, come back here. Come back here. I don't. I keep crashing into the wrecked cars. In fact, the Peppers are having a good day. There are three Peppers in the last five? What's going on? What is going on? You're, you're, you're not going to be in there anymore, though. <laughs> oh, I love the driver. More games need driver catapults. Um, it's just so, it was always so entertaining. 
always so entertaining in the flat out games, especially when you started playing the um, uh, all the party games, which we'll have a look at, like the high jump and so on. Oh, smack the car. So I'll hold him. I will pin him in. No, fine. I should probably not go for the other pepper, come to think of it, because that'll be an easy finish. Uh, it'll be better. Oi! Look, I just, I just, I just decided not to go and ram you, and then you go and do that. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this in three minutes, I don't think. We've wasted far too long faffing around. That is the issue with taking this slightly, oh, softly, softly approach to begin with, is that uh, you don't always get through it quick enough. I was hoping. Uh, well, I mean, that was just a moronic move. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is out. I think I can take a victory here if we can get the cast off of my door, possibly. Come on, you can go up there. Uh, I do remember certainly killing myself plenty of times. I think it was in Ultimate Carnage, like, you could kill yourself quite easily with your car, just running up the kind of banked walls, just carrying too much speed, and you'd absolutely wreck your car uh, climbing up the walls. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We're, we're, we've not done a particularly good... A good sort of second part of this event. No! We've got eaten by a tyre bundle and now we're all beached. Um, come on, quickly. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset my car. I don't think the AIs do. Uh, oh, one of them one of them managed to wiggle free and smack. Oh, how did that not kill them? How on earth? I thought that was going to be another car down. I am disappointed. Come back here. Come back here. Please come back here. Please, please come back here. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Almost got my driver's head through one of the um, tyres. Bugger. We just got absolutely wrecked. Right. Going so well to start with. We got to sort of 1 minute 30 and it was looking good and then it stopped. Then it stopped. The blockheads did far too well in uh, in that game. Actually a full on replay mode as well. Which is quite cool. Uh, exit to menu. Yes, I've got to remember the weird controls. Well, there we go. That was a demo derby. I might go and modif or upgrade my car a little bit. We'll go do some races. We'll go do some of the bronze races. Uh, where should we start? We've got Bay Amateur Run, Woodland, Havoc, or Brad's Pit Crash. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, shall we go Woodland Havoc? $1,000 if we can come first. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can. This should be. Uh, oh, I did press gear up. It's exact. <laughs> amusingly, exactly. I do exactly the same thing on here as I do on Wreckfest. However many games down the line for Bugbear, I still don't put. Or I still put the car or don't put the car into gear quick enough because um, I kind of press it the second it says go, and it doesn't always. Or I sometimes do it a little bit too fast, and then it doesn't put it up into gear. So yeah, well done me. I just spotted a shortcut on the inside. We could have gone for. Does that take us out underneath a trailer? Possibly. Well, we may lose the roof of the pepper if we're not careful. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes when we come round to uh, to do that next time. Can we push one of you into some logs? No, we can push you across some water. Oh, again I spied another shortcut there. There was definitely a shortcut to the inside. Oh, carefully does it through there. These cars are a little bit on the twitchy side. I mean, handling physics wise this game is uh, kind of what you expect from a, from a good arcade racer. There is, uh, you know, you've got plenty of control of the vehicle. It doesn't feel like it's horrendously assisted. Uh, they can be at times a little bit on the twitchy side. They generally, though, have a fair amount of a fair amount of grip. Pretty damn good brakes. Uh, and the damage model is, well, as you saw from the demo derby, the damage model is impressive on here. The damage model is, in fact, very impressive for such an old an old game. Now there was a shortcut if we dive down here. Ha ha. Yes, we shall go for the shortcut. Please don't take off the roof. Ooh, okay, we made it amazingly. <laughs> I thought I was going to drive. Knowing my luck, we would have driven into that and just straight at the top of the windscreen, and that would be us. That would be us out of the race. They've probably got a little bit more straight line speed than me back there. I do kind of want to go this way. Oh, cone! Cone did bad things to car. Cone did really bad things. Mean cone. Mean cone indeed. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I didn't really need to take the shortcut, I was just trying to extend my lead and then that causes some issues. Well, it is two peppers on the podium, at least, at the moment, which is which is pretty good going, I think. We've just got a big muscle car, I think it's called a bullet, if I remember correctly. Uh, up ahead, we're going to have to take all of the shortcuts. It is a relatively, relatively simple circuit. You see the damage done to my car. In fact, I'm looking at the... Ah, oh, that's the nitro meter, not damage meter. I've got to remember that because we're, play we're not in a... <laughs> Demo Derby anymore. We have got plenty of nitro. Uh, yeah, the damage that was really only caused at one point. Oh god, that's that's 
They could have made it a little bit higher, or my car a little bit lower. It does not feel like it's going to get under there when we <laughs> take that route. Oh, don't take the log piles. I do remember log piles are horrible. In fact, on all flat-out games I've played, running wide and clipping a log pile somewhere is uh, never never a good way to uh, to have a race. Oh, we were on two wheels and nearly rolling it. I say nearly rolling it. That, yeah, that was a bit closer than I would have liked. Uh, with Oh, I thought we had more nitro. We do not. We do not at all. And that is going to be a finish line, and it is going to be a victory. We will have a victory wiggle from the... Oh, no, it's not a victory, because it's a four-lap race. Never mind. Good thing I didn't go for a spin. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was only a three-lap race. We had a slightly premature victory wiggle. Never good. Never good a premature victory wiggle. We will have to <laughs> try and uh, not cock up the rest of this lap. The, I seem to remember the AIs taking the shortcuts more. Again, that might have been on later ones. I do see, or maybe it'll be on tougher championships. The AIs will take these shortcuts with you. I definitely remember having uh, plenty of arguments with AI cars trying to fit down the uh, some of the narrower checkpoints around the place. Uh, do is no real need for risking taking that uh, that jump. I'm not actually sure that, that jump is massively quicker because while it's yes technically a, a slightly shorter route, you can sort of straight line that section. We're still pretty much flat out around the outside, and with the car going up in the air, you lose time that you could be accelerating going forwards. So the jump is perhaps the, the lesser of the shortcuts. There we go. Now we can have a victory wiggle. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was nearly very silly of me. I got away with it. I got away with it. Hey, we had two peppers on the on the podium. That's the important, important things in this. I don't know where... I think there was another one in the race. Um, and then, uh, yeah, there was another one in the race, and there's just me stuck on the grid, of course. Uh, yes, we shall go back to the menu. Hey, you have unlocked Brad's Super Dust Up. Cool. Uh, we got... Oh, we get money from breaking stuff. I do remember this. I definitely remember, remember the... Um, uh, the ability to make money from crashing into things. And I'm perfectly okay with that. Card dealer, do we? Okay, we don't have anything else unlocked. I'm assuming there's different classes of cars, much like in the in the later games. Uh, so if we go on bronze... Ah, right, okay, so we do kind of work our way down the down the order. Sure, we will go to this next race. We're going to is a sand pit circuit. Okay. We will get, hopefully, now let's not cock up the launch. No, I've done it again, pressed it too soon. Oh, bugger, and now there are cars behind me that are keen to go forwards. Uh, it's just uh, <laughs> already taken out the window of one of the peppers, and the window of another one. We shall steal all of your windows. All of the windows shall be mine. And mine are still actually perfectly in. I've got, got distracted. I've got distracted doing silly mini games rather than I should really be racing. All of my windows are still in one piece, though. That's the important thing. You, I want the rear window. I want the rear window of the pepper. I've missed the rear window of the pepper. Oh, bugger. I've, I've found a... That's a really solid barrier. No, 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 no. Okay, we're beached. Uh, <laughs> so, destructible scenery. I do it again. Distractible scenery do very much remember is a, a really big part of flat out. As the games progress, more and more chaos could be brought to the tracks that you race around. Just about everything you can hit will move if you hit it hard enough. There is still some solid stuff. The trucks and the dump trucks, for example. And there's some, like the sign that we got beached on, that... Uh, oh, through the gap. No, not through the gap. I had to try it. Okay, that was me being silly. Um, we moved the crane, though. <laughs> not the crane, the digger. Yeah, we were a little bit too wide for that one. Okay, serious, serious game face now. We've got some laps to uh, try and make our way up through the order. Yeah, tracks are great fun to, uh, to destroy, and as the race progresses, diggers will get spun around and things will come across the road, and especially if the AIs have a crash and they kind of litter bits of crash barrier across the road, you can have to uh, sort of almost adapt your racing line through places so that you don't get stuck. This track here, not a particularly great example. Oh, almost got pushed into that corner. By the, by the other pepper. We should be working together, goddammit. Not uh, not bullying each other into walls what look like relatively explodey barrels. Not that I, I don't think they explode. I don't want to go and try and find out, though. Not with my car. If we can push an AI car into what look like sort of fuel tank things and see if it explodes, that'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> we can push an AI car, in fact, so that the driver gets catapulted out. Again, I'd be perfectly okay with that one. We do kind of need to get a move on, though, if we are going to challenge at the top of the order. Uh, there might be actually a short, I'm going to say, not really a shortcut there to the left of the digger. Look like there might possibly be a path, but I think it's too bumpy. It just won't gain any time from uh, going out there. 
Alright, easy does it over these jumps. Now, don't end up in the... Oh! The number 23 almost did, and we gave him a little bit of a brush as we came past. Now, avoid the barrels. Barrels are mean. Barrels are mean when you're in a little car. The bigger vehicles are probably not as affected by it anywhere near as much, but there we go. Oh, we're going to dive to the inside. We kind of made a pass. Just about made a pass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one way to go for an overtake. How many? We've got a little bit more time. We've got a little bit of time. It was uh, ambitious. I'm going to go with ambitious. I think you gain, you gain nitro for uh, crashing into uh, opponents' cars. I think you might also gain it for taking out the scenery, which uh, was also going to slow you down. So there can be a little bit of a sort of risk versus reward thing going on if you kind of drive down a, a row of fences. You can potentially... Oh, get some... No! No! No, we got bullied into the wall! Ah, oh, God damn it. We got bullied into the wall by the red car. And uh, that's, that's never going to end well for me. I don't know if it was you. I shall take my anger out on you, though. Yeah, you can try and go for a uh, crash into a bunch of fences and get some nitro, but you'll lose time for crashing into the fences. And I'm going to be in the middle of a quite big car sandwich. <laughs> Yellow car did not have a good day. Oh, I've launched myself forward with Nitro. It's going to be a second place for me. Uh, no, it's not a second place. Am I, I might be reading the lap counters wrong a lot in this. I swear, I swear, never mind. I'm counting badly today. I don't know what. It's not that early. I, honestly, I am just about awake. Um, I can just about cuss about English. Well, this might give us an opportunity to uh, go for a possible possible victory if we can somehow find a lot of speed through these closing couple of corners. Oh, come on, car. Come on, Pepper. We need just a little bit more. We're going to do the same dive to the inside that we did a couple of laps ago. It didn't quite work out then. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth a go, as I don't think I'd actually stand much chance down here. As I had to try something, I guess it would probably bumped into him uh, more. We could have sort of forced him wide. And I'll take second. We gave it everything we could on that one. No, no double pepper podium, unfortunately. Disappointing. Disappointing. Uh, yeah, my fairly, fairly shocking start. Right. Well, again, uh, you have unlocked Fairgrass Run, apparently. We've got $73 for all of our crashing in that one. Uh, we would like to go race. Shall we go? Okay, we're going to go bonus. We're going to go for. Uh, circle of eight. In fact, I think this track hasn't changed. Just looking at the layout, I say hasn't changed. When I play, I, I like I know this circuit from from Ultimate Carnage, so it's uh, yeah, not uh, not got a lot different. Only a lot more trackside obstacles as it uh, went through the generations. I look forward to getting Crash Alley because Crash Alley is still the greatest the greatest track for a um, demo derby game of all time. I'm liking the. Uh, we managed to squit. Oh no, tyres bad, tyres bad, tyres bad. We don't want to clip anything really. It kind of will just spin our car out. Uh, I, I was admiring before that instance. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> or she? They are. They are not having a good day there. Nor, nor, nor am I. Neither am I. My brain can decide which way. I, I'm. I'm not on form today. I think with my English. The, the English setting on Alex has broken a little, a little bit more than normal. It's, it's normally quite, it's normally quite dodgy, but uh, today it has gone full Lancia on us, so it's fine. Um, yeah, that that was not quite what I had intended to do. I was trying to get the nitro boost so I get back into the fight after a bit of a poor start. And yeah, mid-air rugby tackles, funnily enough, tend not to work quite so well with cars, especially when you're the little car. Now, admittedly, I didn't come off the worst in that one. We just got spun around. We didn't get tumbled uh, wildly out of control. I do believe this game has a certain amount of catch-up, because I would need plenty of help here if we're going to get up towards the front. I think I am just going to restart the uh, restart the race, uh, because, yeah, I crash like that, you're so far back. That there's just <laughs> I, can, I can go around for another couple of laps with nothing really happening, or we can try again. And we will try and not immediately crash into everything. And as I say that, there's a big old crash going on on the outside. Right, the other Pepper is behind us that we managed to get into trouble with last time out. So he can be back there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to have to give you space. Oh, crap. Big muscle car. Thank you. Thank you, Pepper. You have, you have now saved me. That's what we're talking about. We want working together. 
Working together. I will not crash into you if you don't crash into me. Okay? Sound like a fair deal? But to be fair, this is the sort of track that doesn't really suit the pepper. Is a lot. I said don't crash into me. God damn it. I've got to turn in at some point for that corner. Uh, this track a lot a lot quicker than the other circuits. Well, to be fair, a lot of them a lot of them are fairly simple at the moment. And uh, uh, perhaps a slight lack of, of real, really straight line speed uh, might come into effect. We shall have to use an ample amount of nitro to try and get us in the fray coming towards the final couple of laps. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of a nudge on them and power our way up into fourth place. We kind of want to be crashing into stuff to try and give us some uh, some nitro, but I don't want to be losing any time. Yeah, as I said, a tough risk versus reward thing. And I can't pit maneuver cars. I've not got any strength to pit maneuver cars, goddammit. That's a shame. We're going to have to really, really dive. Really dive. Oh, no, you see, there are cones on the inside. I had a plan to dive to the inside and then use the yellow car to slow me down for the corner. It would probably work quite nicely if we could actually dive far enough up the inside for, for, it, to, for it to take effect. You could just keep hitting the mound of dirt on the inside. I don't even think there were cones there that time. And that's just sucking all of the speed out of any run I might get. Right, here we go. Oh, we got some nitro. We're going to try and come across. Yes, we're up into a podium position. And now we've got the two. Uh, they certainly look like they've got Sierra rear wings going on uh, at the two blockheads up there. I've got no nitro to chase them down. Come back here. I want to have a fight for the lead uh, as we go into it. Oh, no, that inside is not good. That inside is not good. Oh, there's fire. There's a small bit of it, sir. Your car is on fire at the moment. Um, you, you, you might want to pull over and not contest the third place anymore because that's probably not going to last much longer. Uh, <laughs> I think I might have left my car in second a couple of times without, uh, without realising it. Uh, come on, come on, Pepper. We can make it around here. No, we do want second out of the corner. I think I'm just not changing up in time. Either way, I'm not sure. It's making a huge difference. A couple of miles an hour. Uh, we might have been buzzing the limiter. Yeah, we've not got the speed. There's a lot of fire still going on from the vehicle behind me. You did make it, surprisingly. Did make it through all that. Yeah, third place is uh, not not the best showing from me, but uh, we'll need some upgrades, I think, on the car before it'll be before it'll be fully competitive. Shall we go have a look at uh, what have we got? Uh, we might as well go down here, seeing as we haven't done a kind of predominantly tarmac track yet, Fairgrass run. Let's go and give it a try. Now, can we do better here? No, maybe not if we get that sort of uh, that sort of a start. I thought I timed it right, but still, still not quite. Now, oh god, sign disintegrating and that slows me down no end. It's kind of, I say it's kind of odd. I was expecting, oh god, I've rolled off a cone. Ugh, we've recovered it. We're fine. Uh, I was expecting to be able to pit maneuver AI cars a lot easier. Either they are very resilient or I can't hit very hard. I mean, this could be, could well be a combination of uh, of the both. Really don't want to end up down there because you'll end up rolling. I mean, if we can help help an AI car roll, I'm perfectly okay with that. Or help an AI car into the wall, or it can help himself into the wall. To be honest, there is a big fight going on up ahead, which I intend on joining in. Oh, either side of <laughs> either side of both the peppers for us there. Oh, and one of them's ended up in the tyres on the outside. Well done, guys. Well done. Oh, I'm going to go around the outside of that. As much as I want to crash into stuff, I also want to try and make progress forwards in crashing into stuff. Oh, slight pop in with the signs. Oh, no, no, no. There's a reverse gear in there somewhere. Damn it. AI car's getting into trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating a bunch of tyres, and that's not going particularly well for him. I think he has actually got that free, surprisingly, in uh, in all of that. Right, okay, well, the end of the first lap, I guess we're doing better than we were at the start of the first lap, which is something. Uh, we're going to go for a uh, high-speed whack into the back of some of these. Oh, crap. <laughs> a little bit too high-speed. I was, I was seeing if I forced the car off into the barriers, if I get the nitro for for that hit. Uh, oh, come on. We've got to go for that. There's there's no way I can not go for that crash when you're that stationary in front of me. Uh, we, if we can get, uh, you know, fire the drivers out of their cars, that would also be okay. I'd also be perfectly fine with uh, accepting that as a way of winning. Oh, this guy should have, shouldn't have 
quite boosted the time I did to try and force them down into the much more awkward, awkward route. Having had such a terrible, terrible opening to the... Well, I say terrible opening. It was fun, just not fast. Uh, way to start this lap in all the crashing. No, not again. Not again with the evil, evil cones. Uh, oh god, or with the evil, evil car. No, I'm going to give you a really wide berth, because while I can't seem to pit maneuver you, you do tend to bully me about a bit, so we're not going to get involved in that one. The piles of wood are not causing us issues there. Not going to launch our cars. Uh-oh, wrong side of the signs. Okay, I'm trying to not crash through the scenery if I can help it, because I don't want to be slowed down, especially when I'm trying to chase down the two leaders. Turned in a little bit too soon there. Can we go through the pits? looks like we could. Could that be a shortcut? Where does it spit us back out again? Not really. It's just whether you could stay out of trouble by going down there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of nitro. Don't go into the back of the truck like we've seen a couple of cars do already, although I have gone very, very wide. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Don't mind me. No, that's not a sight you want to see behind you. It's not a sight you want to see behind you. I'm gonna have to give him space. Oh, bugger, 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 bugger. Ugh, come on, fire that nitro. Oh, we're still at that really awkward point where they can turn into us. No, oh, we're round. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! All of the ow. We're back into seventh place. And this is one this is what I do remember <laughs> last hour. You can be having a really, really good race and then one AI bully moment later, and you are at the back of the field. As I said, I'm hoping that there is some form of catch-up. I believe there is. Oh, I tried to be clever and it didn't work. God damn it, so that I can get back up into the fray. Might not be able to take a victory here today. Hopefully we can get a top three. Okay, that is kind of what you need to progress, I think, through the career mode, although I want the uh, the money for getting a victory. Nope. Ah, get out of the way. We're going for a nitro fire our way up into fourth place. Right, we are kind of back at the tail end of the top three after that lap, and we do have one more. I've remembered to count properly. I was going to try investigating the pit lane, but... Uh, didn't have time to uh, to get turned. I guess the plus point of getting crashed out is that you gain a lot of nitro, which can be then used to help propel you up to the tail end of the field. It kind of works out quite nicely in, in balancing things out. Oh, God, get away from those. Get away from those. In fact, the more I look at it, the more you kind of want to crash into scenery and not all at the same time. It makes it quite an interesting... Uh, an interesting choice, an interesting conundrum as to what you do. I'm going to roll that if I'm not careful. Oh, I want to get ahead of that red car. We can get clear of that. Oh, we've carried a lot of speed down here. <laughs> We're up into second place now. But I can see a car behind me and I know if I don't leave them space I will get murdered. Oh, no, cones, cones, bad cones. Oh, I don't think there's anything I can do because now we've just got long, long straights and I don't have the speed for this. I need more corners. Corners. Please come, please come to me. We, we need them to have issues, and I need to take lots and lots of speed. I'm taking lots and lots of speed. In fact, he's had issues. Come on, that's the second place. I think the leader's going to be too far away, though, unless he has a spin, and I don't know if the AI cars have spins on this game. Uh, oh, I clipped the tyre bundle on the inside as well. Got me a little bit of nitro. My car doesn't really look like the shape that it started in. However, the Pepper will take another second place. Ah. <sighs> Unfortunately, we cannot seem to repeat the um, outcome of the first race with the Pepper podiums, but uh, if only we could get all three of them. That, that could be a tough challenge, try and get all three Peppers on the podium in a race. You'd have to really bully the other cars and, and hope that the other Peppers were, were having a good day. Whew. Well, <laughs> there we go. I think we'll finish off. Shall we go and have another crack at a... Demo Derby. We'll see if we can fare better this time out. I think we got unlucky, just the angle of the hit that got me, because I still had quite a lot of health left, just the angle and the speed, the, 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 the ferocity of the impact is what killed me last time out. So if we can try and avoid any of them, that would be good. Uh, there was someone very, very slow over here, but I can't get to... Ooh, that's a hello. Hello, hello everything there. Um, yeah, if we can avoid that, we can try and do some early damage trying to get this over in three minutes when you have a very, very weak little car. <laughs> like that. Ouch. 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 That's not fun. Ah, we're being eaten. Uh, reverse away from everything. Oh, got stuck in the middle of all of that. That's not fun times, really. Oh, there. 
Another car is going to go under there. Oh, we, we were a launch pad for everyone. This game mode has gone. This, this, this demo derby has gone really, really poorly for me. We've been eaten by two muscle car-esque vehicles. We have been well and truly battered early on. Trying to dish out some punishment of my own now. But uh, it might well be a little too late and that. I think did more damage to me than it did to them. Which is never good. Oh! Flying person! I'm not the first one out! Ha <laughs> ha! As is the rule with flat out, if you see a person on the floor, you must run them over. Just to doubly make sure that they are out of the game. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That's just always always the way you play flat out. Is you've got to make sure. You've got to make sure you run over the people that have got launched out of that car. Someone's upside down. Oh, I'm gone. And... Oh! <laughs> spun a car! My flailing body spun a car. If only you could roll that again. If you could set that up, that could be such an entertaining challenge. Try and roll a. Oh, I wanted to restart rather than go through another loading screen, but never mind. Uh, yeah, try and roll a car with. Oh, I think I've gone and launched. Okay, we'll go here. Long jump. Sure. Um. Hold on. Release the nitro button. Release the angular driver. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll play this. Hopefully, we can figure out where on earth we're supposed to be going. Um. Yeah, I love these games. These games are fantastic fun. Uh, you got to sort of line yourself up, uh, time it, you know, leave the ramp as late as possible. Um, there we go. Fire my person. That was a poor, a poor opening round. We needed to fire them a little bit more at an up, upwards angle. I got 45 meters. I don't actually remember what it said it wanted me to be scoring. So we're just going to kind of go with it and probably get a bronze medal at best. Okay, try and get as good of a run as possible. I mean, these games evolved as the flat-out games uh, progressed. There were some really intricate ones on, on Ultimate Carnage that were great fun to uh, to play. Right, fire there. We know we've not got... Uh... Ah, I wonder if... I wonder if... Uh, we try launching the person earlier, because like, we, we're getting fired out of the window. That's not going to work. You're never going to be able to go far enough, are you? Hmm. Okay. Uh, there used to be... I wonder if I'm doing this, like... No, you see, there used to be a way of, like, setting... You'd set the power and then set the angle. So this might be a little bit different. Uh, that was a very, very poor final throw. Uh, continue the event. Yeah, I've got 107 metres. New high score, but not very good. Um... Oh, we got some money for it, I guess. Okay, we were going to do another demo derby, but uh, I might try. Let's actually let's actually try this one. So, okay, accelerate and throw your driver high in the air from the ramp by pressing and releasing the nitro button. The, re the release angle of the driver is measured from the time you keep the nitro button pressed down before you release. Ah, okay, right, yeah, it is slightly different to the ones that I played before. I just assumed that it worked in the same manner, and it doesn't. So your angle is determined by how long you hold the button down, and the power gauge goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's exactly what I thought. Uh, oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button completely. Uh, <laughs> hey, 30 meters. I pressed B instead of A. Okay, that's my stupid. We need to get 300. So, uh, we need to get a lot of points in these next couple of uh, <laughs> couple of attempts. I should point out, I was never amazingly good at uh, the high jump or the long jump on flat out. What are the games that I was was good at? Um, God, there was like a darts one. Oh, can we not? Uh... Okay, well that's better. That was like 65 meters. Oh, make the crash mat! Hey, look at that. Okay, we have to have kind of set everything before the car leaves the wrap. You can't kind of launch it at the top of its arc. Uh, um, there was another game mode as well. Uh, the curling. I like the curling. Again, this is this is stuff from. Uh, from Ultimate Carnage, and there was there's one with like a fire ring, and I was trying to remember uh, what quite what one that did. Um, you had to like launch the launch the car through a, a set of fire like a set of fire hoops. I also pressed the completely wrong button again. The control <laughs> controls uh, a little bit uh, a little bit interesting for me on this. Uh, yeah, continue it. It was it was poor, not great showing from me in the in the stunts. However, I actually managed to earn back all of the money that we spent on uh, on getting the pepper. That was a look at the first of the flat-out games. It is 
yeah, it is excellent fun <laughs> racing. At times, the AI will frustrate you. I think that is a common theme with these games. At times, you will get frustrated. You will get crashed out with you know, half a lap to go and have to restart everything and go through it all again. However, for for the era this game was made in, you know, the damage was incredible. The party, the party games were very, very entertaining. Demo Derby is always good fun. And unfortunately, not that I can show you it at the moment. However... Crash Alley is the greatest racetrack that, uh, <laughs> that that ever has been. I am yeah, I'm glad to uh, to go back and play this. As I said, it was about about 99p, I think, on uh, on on Steam in the sale. When it's not on sale, I think it's two or three quid. I would still uh, very much recommend it. As uh, yeah, certainly a bit of nostalgia for some of you who may well have played this uh, as a kid. And if you've never played a flat out game before, you uh, you certainly can't go wrong with uh, with this one. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.